A successful landscape photograph captures the color, the beauty, and the details in the natural world for everyone to see. But taking a good landscape photograph can be challenging. The magnificent scenery we see with our eyes sometimes turns out looking flat and blah in a photograph. But don't worry. With the right camera and a little practical advice, you'll be on the path to creating picture-perfect landscape photos in no time. A lot of my students ask me if there's a special landscape lens they should use when taking landscape photographs. And my answer is no. A lot of different lenses will work. For instance, a wide-angle lens looks great and covers a broad expanse of landscape, while a telephoto lens can isolate those details. But before we get started, let me show you a little bit about changing the lenses, a few things you need to do. First, always turn off the camera so that when you take off the lens, dust doesn't get inside. Next, you want to turn the camera down like this. To take the lens off, you press the lens release button over here, and a quick twist takes off the lens. Now to put a lens back on, you just want to line up the index points here on the lens and on the camera. Another little twist and the lens is right back on. Now make sure you do turn the camera back on so the Canon EOS integrated cleaning system will shake off any dust that happen to get inside. And you're ready to go. There's a great new feature on this called Live View. What it does is it allows you to see your images on the LCD screen in real time. Just set it up by hitting the set button here and it comes on so you can see the image. And it also has an optional grid that allows you to compose your images using the rule of thirds. Another cool feature that gives you the creative edge is the landscape picture style. You get to by pressing this button right here. This enhances your blues and greens in the image without oversaturating the other colors. It also has a monochrome picture style with filters for some really cool looks. And for beginners, there's a landscape mode right up here. Now this does optimize your camera for landscape photography, but it does disable the live view. Let's talk about using some elements of composition in your landscape photographs. First, find something of interest in the foreground and the background. It will make for a much more interesting shot. Next, think about using a wide-angle lens. That wide-angle perspective stretches distance and actually creates a more three-dimensional viewpoint. Then, look around your scene and try to find the different angles you might see. Come up high or come down low. You can be really creative by using different angles. Next, think about using the rule of thirds. Now that's where you divide your scene visually into thirds, just like this grid here on the LCD screen. This helps you line it up. You just choose one or more points of those intersections, place something of interest there, and you'll create a much more compelling photograph. And next, look for a great leading line in your image. For instance, in this scene, the bridge draws your eye through the scene. I've preset the exposure mode to aperture priority at f8 using an ISO of 100, and I've turned on the live view by hitting the set button. Now, I'm moving the autofocus frame using the cross keys to focus on the area of interest. I'm going to press the minus button on the back of the camera to autofocus the image. Now I'll know it's focused when the frame changes from white to green. Now I'll just take the photo using the remote switch. 